Hey guys, it's Eddie here at Veerinx RV Center out of Grand Rapids, back at you um, on our YouTube channel. So I know you've been seeing that we've kind of been doing these factory uh, walkthroughs, checking everything out. So we're back at you here in Goshen, Indiana. We're at our Dutchman plant with Scott. He is the GM of Aspen Trail and their Kodiak line. And so we are actually are here in their Kodiak plant. So that's what they're running. We caught them after hours. So we're gonna be able to get like a little walkthrough, see all the parts that go into this, see kind of how the production goes and what makes a Kodiak different from anything that's in its class. So Scott, we've been in partnership with you, with Dutchman for about 10 years. I wanna say it's more than that with Veering RV Center, but you guys have been around for 35 years, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this year we're celebrating our 35th year in the RV industry. So the great thing about Dutchman is we're just a towable manufacturer. So we specialize in anything from fifth wheels to travel trailers. As you mentioned, you guys also uh, carry our Aspen Trail product. So mm -hmm. for Verinx, what's nice is you guys carry everything from a 17 foot single axle, yeah. aluminum sided trailer, clear up to our Kodiak Ultimates, and then our Astoria fifth wheels as well. Yeah. So you guys really represent a lot of Dutchman products at Verinx RV. Yeah, which is, which is super awesome. So we've had this partnership for a long time and it's really nice to finally get down here yeah. to be able to check everything out. So kind of as we go through it, we'll check out starting from when you bring in just the bare bones yeah. chassis to when we see the finished product and we can kind of go into that once we, once we get there. But I guess so let's start the tour. Absolutely. Okay, so Scott, to start off, when you bring something in, I mean, you're typically gonna bring in just a bare bones, just steel chassis, and then you start to implement things into that. Um, so what we have in front of us is we already have the axles and the wheels and a few things already in there. So can you just tell me about just the, the construction of this or where we're at so far in the process? Yeah, so like you mentioned, normally it's a, it's a bare chassis that just comes in on like a transport axle, <clears throat> then we will put the tank, start start putting in some of the, the bracing and what, whatnot, then there's actually a frame flipper where we'll flip it over, mm -hmm. put the underbelly on, get the wiring ran. Um, you know, the one thing that is nice with Dutchman is, as part of the Keystone Parrot Company is mm -hmm. all our wiring is, is actually color coded oh, so okay. that for a service side, if you guys ever need to chase a wire, you know what color wire you should look for. Um, so that's one thing that's unique. So. Um, yeah, as you can see, this is already finished. They have the underbelly in it and a lot of the wiring already ran. The tanks are laid out. As you can see, the heat ducts are already kind of laid out where they will go in the floor, which yeah. again, for all your Kodiak product, it's a heated enclosed underbelly, which gives some extended season camping. Right. So we're kind of, all this will get hooked up as it goes down the line, but this is a basic start to how it's produced. Yeah, and what's what's nice too for like anybody who hasn't been in like a dealership atmosphere is that in our service bay, like we have a bunch of service bays here at Veering RV Center in Grand Rapids, um, and our technicians, we work with a bunch of different manufacturers. So everybody's gonna do things a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. So when Dutchman color coats all of their stuff, it makes it a lot easier for somebody yes. to pop in yep. and be able to do whatever they need to do for service. And it's just a little bit easier. Yep. Um, and then when it comes to the next step on this. So you're gonna go from this to putting on your actual flooring. Yes, so from here what they'll do is they'll pick up a solid one piece floor. So we have our Hyperdeck composite flooring over here um, and they will set that on the chassis. So what's great about this is you can see it's all aluminum, which is lighter. There's no wood in our floor. So it's made to not mold or collect water, and it makes a Kodiak product a lot lighter. So we'll save 100 to 200 pounds, give gen, depending on the floor plan. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so they'll set this one piece floor over there on it, and then it'll wheel back, get the linoleum laid on it, and the cabinets start to get set from there on. Yeah, and you and this helps too, just because you guys do a sort of like bear cage construction. Correct. So is this is this part of that bear cage construction just because it is all aluminum? Yeah, so yeah, the floor framing is aluminum, the sidewall framing is aluminum. As we get down the line, you'll see like the front cage, back mm -hmm. wall, that's all aluminum. So again, for Kodiak, we're trying to be one of the lightest ultralights in the market for better gas mileage, towability, yeah. whatnot. Yeah, and for for somebody that say isn't f super familiar with RV construction, how like what else would somebody see in in flooring from a, out of like a competitor or something? Yeah, so a lot of brands they'll use you know OSB plywood or they'll use like a double layer of luon, like thin wood. Um, so 
what that does is it adds weight and it also if it were to collect water at all it yeah. has a hard time drying out that could lead to a soft floor so having this hyper deck is a huge advantage for us awesome yeah let's let's check out kind of the next step too Okay, so we have basically everything into the actual frame of the camper. We put on the flooring. Now we're on to the next step, which is? I mean, yeah, so, so back here, actually we build all of our cabinets in house. Mm -hmm. So they'll get built a week or so ahead of time. Um, and then they will take all the finished cabinets and set them on the floor after the linoleum's laid. So as you can see over here, the linoleum is all one piece. There's no seams, it gets ran from the front, from the back to the front, mm -hmm. then stapled down on the side. So it's kind of, a, it's a floating floor, um, but then pulled and tightened. Uh, so there's no bubbles or wrinkles or anything. Um, and then all the cabinetry will get set on that before there's walls or anything like that. So they can set the cabinets in the right spot. Um, and it makes it easier to maneuver around where the big wardrobes and lav bases and kitchen yeah. bases need to go. So one thing here is you'll see on our bed base, it's also aluminum. Mm -hmm. Again, I mentioned, and I'll probably say this several times, that we're trying to be the lightest ultralight out there. So the, with the bed base being aluminum, um, it takes some weight out of it. It's not built out of wood. You can obviously see we have panel lay over it, so it has that nice finished look. Um, a lot of times what the customer sees is when they look through the pass-through storage, which is what this would be, is the aluminum framing underneath. But you can kind of see above now that it's aluminum all throughout. So that's yeah, one nice feature. And what's nice too is like when you're a camper, I mean, you're gonna have like your, your chairs out underneath the awning, they might get caught in the rain and you're gonna yes. toss those in your, in your pass-through storage. So if you have a bunch of exposed wood under there, Absolutely. it's gonna be a little bit more apt to, for, to get some moisture on that, for where sure. the aluminum's just gonna be more resistant to it. For sure, absolutely. Um, so going from basically all of this cabinetry, the framing and everything, are we gonna now move into the sidewalls? Yes, yeah, so as they continue to set the, the cabinets and get the water lines where they need to be then, they will set the side walls, the front cage, and just manufacture it from there. Sweet, wanna go check it out? Sure. Let's do it. Okay, so now here we are. We're getting to where the side walls are put up. The roofing is all starting to get put on. Um, and then the front nose, the framing's all there. And then you can see the batten foam, ins or the batten insulation that is just in the front nose though. Yep, absolutely. So what, what can you tell me about the structure? Yeah, so again, it's all vacuum bonded side walls, uh, back wall, ceiling, um, <laughs> but the aluminum frame in the front, again, the bear cage construction, all aluminum framing. Um, and then we're gonna use fiberglass batten insulation here just so we can pack it in tight and not have any right. holes if it was gonna be styrofoam. Uh, whereas the uh, sidewalls where they get vacuum bonded are all high density black styrofoam insulation so that we don't have any holes in the sidewall. You don't get any fiberglass that falls in the side. So yeah. um, this again, we'll put the front cap on this and it'll, it'll hold this tight in place. Nice, okay. So even we'll show you in the in the finished product too, like even the roofing, we can go in there, we can bang on it. It's not gonna be hung Absolutely. down. It's not gonna get a bunch of flex in there. For sure, because there's a lot of fiberglass lightweight brands where you push on the ceiling and it pushes in. It's not that nice, tight, bonded construction like we have. Um, so that's one of the benefits of Kodiak. Yeah, and it just makes it lighter weight. It makes it a little bit more towable. Like, a specific floor plan, say your larger, um, like 3301, like mm -hmm. how much does that weigh? Do you know off the top of your head? Yeah, so that floor, that's a 37 foot uh, bath and a half bunkhouse. It's gonna weigh like 7,200 pounds yeah. with two ACs, which a lot of people will just cause it's so long. So a comparable like brands floor plan of that is probably gonna be anywhere from 800 to 1500 pounds heavier. Yeah. So that's really what makes Kodiak great is at 7,200 pounds, any half ton out there can tow it um, around the United States. And it's just, it gives them a lot more trailer for the weight. Yeah, and then when you get to say like that 8,000 pound mark mm -hmm. and more, I yeah. mean, people are starting to dabble in like 250s, 2500s. Absolutely. Absolutely. You gotta get yeah. a bigger vehicle. So awesome, no, that definitely helps visualize kind of everything that goes into a Kodiak. Um, let's see, let's see the next step. All right.
All right guys, so if you stuck with us this far, we're at the end, we're at the finished product. This is a Kodiak Ultimate. This is the 2921 FKDS. It's gonna be a front kitchen floor plan. We've hung out with Scott. He took us through basically from just a bare bones steel frame now to the finished product. So we got Steve with us. Steve is actually our rep for Dutchman for uh, Kodiaks and Aspen Trails at our dealership. So he works with us really closely to make sure that we have all the information that we need on hand to make sure that the customer is informed on any decision that they're making. Um, so ultimately, Steve, if you want to take us through a walk around on this, show us the exterior features, just let's just hang out for a little bit. Perfect. Sounds good. Um, you know, Scott went through all the constructions, but we're gonna go through and we're gonna touch base on it again as we kind of walk around the outside and the inside of the of this trailer here. I like starting out on the front cap here. All right, so all of our Kodiaks, you know, our Cubs, our Ultralights, our Ultimates, they're gonna have the one-piece fiberglass front cap here. Mm -hmm. All of our Ultimates are gonna have the automotive windshield in here. Um, bring up the automotive windshield here you know going down the road something's happened if you were to get a stone chip in here it's an automotive windshield just like in your vehicle so you're not going to have yeah. to worry about it you know it's shattering yeah. so you're going to get a little nick and you can always get that repaired yeah and then we come here we do our one piece molded fiberglass front cap behind our front cap here we've got our fiberglass batten insulation it's run from side to side so it's not vertically like some of the other uh, competitors out there so mm -hmm. going down the road it's not going to sit there and shake and work its way down it's run from sidewall to sidewall yeah we also have our bear cage construction behind here so that's all welded aluminum frame um, we've got the fiberglass batten insulation here and then our fiberglass front cap mm -hmm. and then coming down from here we've got our gigabox over here so this is going to take all of your wiring that you used to have that runs into your battery box here it's all centrally located. It's got your battery disconnect switch here. So you're going through, you're putting your camper in storage for a couple weeks. You're not using it during the summer. Or you're going into storage during the winter. You can come over here, flip this red switch, and that's gonna kill all the power to your batteries. So you're not gonna come back and have a completely dead, dead camper. Yeah, so rather than having just a bunch of wires just hanging all over the place and it looks like a mess, it's just a way to centralize everything just into that one spot. Mm -hmm. Awesome, and then up front, I mean, typically you're gonna have what, two 20 pounders and then a uh, power tongue jack? Yep, so we're gonna have the two 20 pound tanks up here. We've got the power tongue jack with the LED. Light that's on there? LED light. Um, it's nice here, it's up and down. You're not sitting here hand cranking this. Yeah. You know, just a few years ago, you were still having your hand cranks on all of your travel trailers. So mm -hmm. makes it a lot easier. It's a lot nicer on your back, arms, setting up. Yeah. Tearing down makes everything a lot easier for the customers. Yeah, setting up's not a workout. All right, so now we're coming down the sidewall here. Most of our Kodiaks, 2921 FKDS uh, is an exception to this. We'll have a pass-through storage here, just like on this one right over here. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna give you the widest pass-through storage. You got a big uh, entrance door, or compartment door on both sides so you can get all your stuff in there. You can get your chairs and your tables, your grills. Um, all inside your storage area here. Right. What I do like to point out here is we have an inverter prep, solar prep, and a tire pressuring monitor system prep all on the Kodiaks. Um, so this is all gonna be centrally located up in your pass-through storage. You can wire in your inverters and now you can power some outlets uh, off your 12 volt batteries if you want to. Yeah, and it looks super easily accessible too. And then you guys do, well, this is a magnetic latch rather yep. than having the actual like snap on that you typically see. Oh yeah, it just comes up. You can sit here, you get your stuff out, you can just catch it real quick and it's gonna fall down. Perfect. Um, other things that I like to point out is we have solar on the side. Mm -hmm. We're also prepped up on our roof for solar panels as well. So every Kodiak is gonna be built with the solar prep standard. Um, you can go through, you can put your portable solar panel here and charge your 12 volt batteries or you can hardwire them up on the roof charge your batteries that way. Nice. All of our Kodiaks are also gonna come with power stabilizer jacks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a push button right here, up and down. But you notice here, we go through, we have an LED light on all of oh, our that... storage, or stabilizer jacks. That's nice. It's gonna be in your front storage compartment here. That way, set up, setting up at night, you need to put your blocks down, put your jacks down from there. You can have your light. You're not sitting there holding a the flashlight, trying to run jacks and place blocks all at the same place. Yeah, for, yeah. Friday night, I mean, it's six o'clock, you're on your way to the campground, it's already dark outside. Oh, you, sure. want to be, you don't want to be stressing out about where you're putting the stabilizers down at. Right, we're trying to go through and make things as easy as possible yeah. for you. Um, coming down here, all of our Kodiaks are gonna have the electric awning. 
Um, we put our awning light against the sidewall of the coach. You know, there's some awnings out there that the awning LED lights are in the actual tube of the awning. So you have mm -hmm. to have your awning all the way out to be able to use these lights. Yeah. Now we can go through, we can put it out halfway, put it all the way out, keep it all the way rolled up, turn your LED lights on from the from inside the trailer. And now you've got light out here underneath your awning or at your campsite. Nice. So then we're kind of come through our ultralights and our ultimates come with the more ride or lipper fold out steps. Mm -hmm. It's the sure steps. So it's going to give you a lot sturdier of a step going into the coach. And we also have our keyless entry on our entry door here. And that's part of your 35th anniversary package, right? It is. So okay. our, our 35th anniversary package, we're going to come standard with our Dutchman solo control system. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the control system that controls everything. So it's going to control your awning, your interior lights, your tank monitors, uh, water pumps. It's all centrally located right in here. Mm -hmm. It's Bluetooth capable, so you can download an app to your nice. smartphone and go through and power everything in the coach off your phone as well. Too. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go through, we're going to have the keyless entry on... Uh, the Cubs, the ultralights, and the ultimates. Mm -hmm. um, but you can go through, you can set a code here, so now you don't have to worry about losing keys or taking them with you. Just put the code in, open the door. We also come standard with a Furion tankless water heater. Okay. Okay, so it's actually got a 60,000 BTU furnace or heating element in mm -hmm. the hot water heater. So you're gonna go through, as long as you have propane, you're gonna have hot water inside your coach. Nice. So that's good. Um, and then backup cameras are standard. Um, on the Cubs, the Ultralights, and the Ultimates. Mm -hmm. And then we're also coming in uh, standard for our 35th anniversary package with slide out awnings. That's nice because that's a huge cost at the dealership, too. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. And it makes uh, setup and tear down a lot easier. You're not having to get up, sweep off the top of the slide outs if you're camping in the fall. Yeah. Leaves and pine needles falling down on top of it. So you're taking less debris inside your camper. Yeah, and to touch on the backup camera, that's Bluetooth and it goes right to your phone, right? It is Bluetooth. So you sync your phone up with the camera and you use your smartphone as your monitor inside the truck. You're going to be able to sit there and see what's going on behind you so you're not yelling at each other while you're back in the camper up. Yeah, and even, even the tankless water heater too, just to touch on that as well, most campers are going to have like a six gallon yep. hot water heater. So they'll have a six gallon uh, gas or gas electric mm -hmm. uh, hot water heater. We're doing the tankless hot water heater. It actually has a mixing tank inside it as well. So it's gonna pump the hot water into that mixing tank. So if you're out taking a shower, somebody goes into the kitchen sink and turns the hot water on, you're not gonna have a dramatic temperature difference at either yeah. place. So it's a lot more user friendly. Yeah, because my fiance is not allowed to flush, flush the toilet while I'm taking a shower. So <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. But anyways, will you show me the rest of it? Yeah, so right over here, come standard with exterior TV mount. Um, we give you the mount inside the trailer. You can bring your TV out here, plug it in here. You've got your plugs right here. You can go through, plug in all your, um, your blenders or, or um, like an induction cooktop or right, something. Induction cooktops. Uh, you can plug it all in right here. You've got your ca cable prep here as well too. So if you are hooking up the TV on the outside, you can watch the game, sit out underneath the awning, maybe watch the races. Nice. So it's just, we're trying to go through and give you user-friendly features on the outside of the Kodiak. For sure. As we'll head down this way. Yep. You'll notice this little track right here. We come standard with a suburban griddle uh, and the mount that hooks on right here. Gives you your griddle. We've got our LP quick disconnect right underneath here as well too. So you can really go through and have everything you need from home in the camper. And you're not sitting here having to bring an extra grill with you or an extra uh, flat iron uh, cooktop. Yeah. So it's all. For, for specific floor plans, I know this one, the floor plan doesn't necessarily allow it, but you do have like an outdoor fridge on a lot of your, your Kodiak ultimate and ultralight floor plans, yep. right? So on a lot of our floor plans, we're gonna come um, with, I call them a dorm style refrigerator, mm -hmm. but it's a little refrigerator in a compartment here for all of your adult beverages mm -hmm. or sodas or pops or anything like that. And then um, there's a lot, couple floor plans that we come with that actually have the full blown exterior kitchen. So you'll have nice. the bigger refrigerator outside, the plumb sink, mm -hmm. entertainment centers in your, in your outside kitchen as well. Nice. Well, since we're since we're back here, let's just chat about the the exterior, like the back wall. It looks like you got like a lipper quick connect for a ladder back there. Yep. So we go through. We are prepped for the telescoping ladder. We've got the lipper quick connect ladder up there, mm -hmm. and then we go through and we use the backup camera here as well too. It is all Bluetooth, so it, you can download an app on your phone, 
sync your phone to it and then use your smartphone as your monitor while you're backing the camper up. Um, like we talked about earlier, Scott was going through the, the plant. Okay. That's solid. Go through, I do a fully vacuum bonded rear wall. It's all welded aluminum frame, high density black foam insulation, all vacuum bonded together. Yeah. So, and then we have our spray ports here as well too. You can hook up here. You've got a place to hose the dogs off, hose your shoes off, get, you know, maybe you're out hiking and you get mud all over your legs. You can hose it all off here so you're not dragging extra mud inside the camper. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. All right, so before we go inside and check out this floor plan, this is one of my favorite floor plans that you guys have, um, the 2921 FKDS. Um, we're on the posterior side of your camper, so this is not going to be your campsite side. This is right. going to be the opposite end where so your slides are going to come out. Off-door side or driver's mm -hmm. side going through there. Um, you know, we go through, again, trying to be lightweight, we go through and do the fully vacuum bonded slide out. So we got the vacuum bonded exterior walls, vacuum bonded slide out in walls, okay? We go through there. You notice we put the uh, slide out in wall windows on mm -hmm. both of our bed slides and our living area slides. But they're the 50-50 max flow slider windows. So these windows, just like your exterior windows here, are gonna open halfway up. So you're gonna be able to get a lot more natural airflow going through uh, the camper. So more airflow, you're not running your AC in the spring or later yeah. into the fall, you can get the natural air coming in. Keeps everything nice and cool. Fresh air is always good for everybody, so. Yeah, and then, so you can see your slide toppers from the 35th anniversary. Yep. They are both on the bed slide and also on your living, basically your living slide. Correct. Um, now you guys use a cable driven slide system. Yep, so we're using the Norcold cable driven slide system. You know, again, we've been touting lightweight. We wanna be the lightest weight ultra light on the market. Um, so we go through and we use the cable driven slide system. Um, it's actually a pulley based system and a gear driven system. Uh, we we'll just use cables to bring the slides in and out. Um, but this allows us to do a free floating slide out. So mm -hmm. going out, in and out, it's floating in on top of your floor. It saves up a, quite a bit of weight from having to do a rack and pinion uh, through frame design mm -hmm. on our slide outs. So we're not having to jump to the bigger uh, frame to be able to do that. And that's gonna be able to save you some weight there as well too. Nice, and if you have any issues, it's pretty easy to bring in. Like yep. if you didn't so, have like any battery power or anything. Right, so there's manual overrides, something happens, maybe the motor goes out, we give you the piece that plugs into the back of the motor, you take a center section of your uh, overhead style, mm -hmm. or fascia, slide fascia out, plug your drill into it, and you can actually run your run the slide in and out with your drill. That's nice, rather than having to do it from the outside. Oh, for sure. Um, all right, well, I mean, this is this is one of my favorite floor plans. Did you, anything else you want to touch on before we pop inside? Uh, no, right, well, right over here. We've got our city water connection. We've got our black tank flush. We've got our park cable hookup and our satellite hookup here. So we try to give you a centralized docking station. Mm -hmm. All right here, your water hookups, your black tank flush is all right here. Uh, and it's centrally located on the camper. So when you do pull up to dump your tanks, guess what? It's right here. You're not having to go from one end of the camper to the back while you're dumping your tanks, so. Sweet, thanks. Yeah, cool. that, was a, that was an oversight on my end, but let's pop inside. Sounds good. Awesome. All right, so now we're inside the 2023 Dutchman Kodiak Ultimate. This is the 2921 FKDS. We just walked around the whole outside, now we're inside. Now show me the floor plan. All right, so this is actually one of my favorite floor plans and I think one of y'all's favorite floor plans as well too. Yeah, you one of- very well with this front yeah, kitchen layout. One of our best sellers. So for 2023, we've gone through and we've gone to a Furion appliance package. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have our 12 volt residential refrigerator here. Mm -hmm. Furion microwave, Furion um, vent fan here. And then we've got the stove and oven as well. We actually come with a 17 inch oven here. Um, it's not one of the smaller ones. It opens up, you've got the glass door with the light on there as well too. Nice. So you can actually see what you're cooking inside there. Mm -hmm. And then one of my favorite things about this floor plan is the abundance of kitchen countertop space here. And all the Kodiaks and the Cubs, the Ultralights and the Ultimates, we're gonna use the seamless countertops. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have the undermount stainless steel farm style sinks with the eyebrow here as well too. And then we even give you this uh, plastic sink cover that doubles as a cutting board for you, but that's gonna come standard on all your Kodiaks. Yeah. So <clears throat> coming up here, we've got the pop-up outlets in the corner there. Um, you'll notice the little yellow sticker on some of the outlets here. Okay, so they're pre-wired into our inverter prep. So customer goes down the road, maybe they wanna 
run, go boondocking or off the grid camping. They can wire in the inverter. It's already prepped for it, but any of the outlets with the little yellow sticker on it mm -hmm. are pre-wired into that inverter prep. So you can go through and run those outlets off your batteries if you so choose. Nice, nice. So coming over here, this one is optioned in with our freestanding table and chairs. Um, you can get the standard booth dinette here as well too. And then you'll notice we do all blackout roller shades on all of our windows. We've got the theater seats here, the Thomas Paine collections. They're very comfortable. They're manual uh, theater seats. Sit down and try it out, Eddie. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> nice and comfortable. Everybody goes through and says, hey, theater seats or sofa, I want to be able to see my TV. Yeah. Well, right here, your entertainment center is going to be directly across from your theater seatings. Um, ease of viewing, you can go through, you can recline, even kick back because they, they are wall hugger uh, theater seats, but you can almost lay flat, watch TV, watch the race, watch the game, mm -hmm. take time out, maybe watch a movie at night if, or if it's raining all day long, you can sit in here and relax and you've got a lot of room. So, so sitting in here as I'm looking around, first thing that pops to my mind, where's the storage? Where's the storage space? So we've got a little storage space right here for your coats. Yep. But I think you mean more like pantry space, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So wherever possible we go through <laughs> and we do a hidden pantry on all of our floor plans. You got shelves in here. There's a motion action uh, LED light in there as well too. So you can leave that on all the time. That is awesome. And then it's hidden and then you've got your safety strap here as well too to keep it from opening up while you're going down the road come standard on the ultimates with the living room TV. You've got a Bluetooth capable sound bar here. You can slide it out. You can take it outside, put it on your uh, picnic table, take it out to the campfire. Maybe mm -hmm. you're going hiking, throw it in your backpack You can take your radio with you. And that just syncs up onto your phone and it's got the charging port right there. Nice. And then something that I always like in the ultimates when it gets chilly outside, we've got the fireplace. You can kick that on, knock the chill off out of the campfire or campsite here, knock the chill off inside, warms it up a little bit. And then on our ultimates, anything with a bed slide is going to have a fireplace in the bedroom as well too. Yeah, that's through the store. Yep. Let's go see it. Let's go. Bathroom, bedroom. Tell me about them. Got to have one in every camper. You have to. You, so, ha you literally have to. Coming back here uh, in our bathrooms on the 2921. We go through, we do a walkthrough bathroom. So it's gonna give you the widest bathroom on the market at any travel trailer out there, mm -hmm. right? So we do the plastic shower surround. We've got the three piece glass sliding shower doors and our ultimates. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice. Um, you know, again, we're trying to go lightweight, but there's some things that we don't wanna scrimp on. So we do give you the porcelain uh, commode inside the, the Kodiak ultimates here. And then we've got linen closets right over here. Ample storage for all your toiletries, extra towels, extra sheets, extra blankets. That probably goes underneath your bed though. And then we've got our LED backlit medicine cabinet here as well too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you go through, maybe you don't want all the lights on or you've got somebody staying up front. You can put that on as kind of a night light. And then all of our lights in here are motion censored as well too. So nice. you go through, you're sleeping, you get up, you're not having to fumble for a light switch or anything like that, and lights are gonna pop on inside your bathroom. You see what you're doing, you can go back to go back to bed. Nice. And then and then once you get past your bathroom, you get into your rear bedroom, which does have a bed slide. Yep. So back here, I mean it's huge. So this is our master suite. You know, like I said, any of the Kodiak Ultimates that have a bed slide are gonna have a fireplace in your bedroom as well, too. 2921 sits here and proves that. You've got your heating element that is a space heater behind that fireplace as well too. Uh, so it'll knock the chill off inside your bedroom. Mm -hmm. But we do all king size beds. They're residential kings. They're 72 by 80 king size beds. You come over here, you get storage underneath the foot of your bed as well too. It's so a you lot can get of in there. Blankets, pillows, anything that you're gonna need. Extra chairs, maybe a table to take camping with you. Mm -hmm. um, it can all be put underneath here because we do the residential size king beds. Nice. We've got wardrobe space on both sides back here as well too, along with ample storage. And then we even got a place underneath our fireplace there, place to put your shoes. Yeah. You know, it's just trying to think of storage. Where are you going to put stuff? You can go through here, have a place to put everything just like you're at home. And then we go through and we have storage in your overheads here 
in your bed slides as well. Nice. And then even, I mean, in your bedroom, like you said, in your living space, you do have windows on either side too mm -hmm. for cross ventilation. Cross ventilation. You can sit here, open it up. Now you have a nice breeze going across your, your headboard area. Knocks, knocks the heat out of the camper. helps get that uh, circulation of natural air in here. It's yeah. going to help everybody sleep better. So basically, down here, Goshen, Indiana, we're checking out everything with Kodiak. We got to yep. talk to, to Scott, and then we got to hang out with you. We got to see basically from start to finish a Kodiak product. Um, ultimately, can you give us a little bit of a rundown of what customers can get if they're looking for a Kodiak? I mean, you guys have a few different models that you go for. So um, we actually, in Kodiak, as a brand, we mm -hmm. have four segments. Um, our Kodiak Cubs, they're going to be our single axles. Um, you know, they're going to be towable by anything that's got like 4,000 pound tow capacity. Mm -hmm. um, single axles, 30 amp trailers, 13,500 BTU air conditioners in them. Yeah. Um, really go anywhere type, type trailer. Mm -hmm. um, next, we're going to have our Kodiak SE, which is going to be our, our value price, mm -hmm. our value addition. Um, it's going to give you all the best bangs for your buck. Um, you know, it's built the exact same. It's going through, has all the features that you need to go camping, but maybe you don't want to step up into an ultralight or an ultimate. Right. Uh, so we're going to have this value packed price point piece in our yeah. Kodiak SE. Then we're going to go to our Kodiak ultralights. Um, that's going to give you a very vast range. You know, you have our 201 QE, uh, non-slide, 13.5 BTU air conditioners, tandem axles, you know, it's still towable by some of your uh, larger SUVs. Up to our 332, it's a double slide, 37-foot uh, travel trailer bunk house. huge, yeah. In, in the ultralight segment here. So you've got something for everybody in there. Right. And then um, we're going to have our ultimate package or ultimate segment. It's going to go through, it's going to give you, you know, double slides, Mm -hmm. um, bed slides. It's going to give you the king size beds. It's going to be 50 amp uh, service standard. You've got the ability to have a dual ACs just like on this unit. You know, theater seats, uh, the double fireplaces. So um, we've pretty much got every section for covered for yeah. in one brand. So yeah. you can start out in the cub and you can stair step yourself all the way up to an ultimate if you want to. Yeah, which is awesome just because it, a lot of customers they'll want something that's that's more value driven, but they don't want to go with an aluminum sided trailer. Mm -hmm. And so that Kodiak with the Kodiak SC gives you that, which is exactly. which is awesome while still getting that, that solid structure that Kodiak's kind of known for. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I learned a lot today. Hopefully everybody that's watching this is gonna is gonna learn a lot from it. Maybe the Kodiak's gonna be the next trailer that they're looking to purchase. Um, but I just wanna say appreciate your time, appreciate your guys' partnership with us like we're sitting in the 2921 the fkds we typically have one on the lot of your inks just because it's one of our most popular floor plans it so. is and y'all do great with kodiak um you do great with all your dutchman products whether yeah. it's aspen trail or astoria so you know we just we're very glad that you were able to come down and catch us after hours so yeah. it wasn't too noisy in the plant um i hope we were able to help you out and get you what you were needing and yeah. look forward to the next one sweet Cool. Thanks, Steve. Thanks. Thanks.